We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the St. Louis Cardinals. Stepping into the box, Starling Marte. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One, one. Drops one down here and he'll try to beat it out. And he will smartly swipe that ball away in foul territory, so we likely won't see the bunt again now with two strikes. That's to two balls and two strikes now. Two and two. And a three and two full count to Starling Marte. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Nick Ahmed is head-to-head -head numbers against Carlos Martinez. He's 0 for 11. Hit down the line at first. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. That is so bases are empty that's here with two gone. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing, and he pops him up. Escobar into shallow left. And he'll reach first safely. And that's in there. Base hit. To the plate now, Tommy Edmond. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. The second for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. So one gun in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. Grounded up the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Come set, now the pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Bumgarner removed to first, but the runner's back easily. Edmund, base runner at first with one out. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt. Three balls and two strikes. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, runner, just runner, hit runner. something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. In there. Now the throw. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Here's Matt Carpenter. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two out here and a runner at second. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Second inning set to go. Up next for Arizona, David Peralta. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Eduardo Escobar standing in. He went deep in the contest last night. Eduardo. 1 1. Escobar. Line drive to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. That is it. The first baseman. 
this game. Walker. Stepping in now, Christian Walker. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. The one two. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another one two. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Fouled off. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Runners on first with one down. Hit in the air down the right field line. Bader is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Standing that's in, that's Stephen Vogt. The catcher, Stephen Vogt. Now the one and one pitch. It's a fastball that misses. early and now it's even at two and two high in the air out to center field Thomas makes the catch and the inning is over to bat for St. Louis Yadier Molina he'll begin things here against Madison Bumgarner and this pitch misses for a ball two and one now to Molina and he can't catch the corner here so he's behind three and one well that sets up a big pitch right here Matt because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game it's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And oh, that looked like it caught him squarely in the arm. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on the mound. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next will be Tyler O'Neill. And he misses two and one. Bumgarner, affectionately known, of course, as Mad Bum. He was a first-round pick back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jerseys. Stepping up now, Lane Thomas. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. All even now, two and two. Bumgarner's ready. Here it comes. Bottom of the second here with no score. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Into the box, Hildemaro Vargas. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Thomas comes on now, and he has it one down. So one away here with the bases empty, and the pitcher Madison Bumgarner will bat next. Look into Molina now. The one-one. 
Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Here's Starling Marte. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Hit down the third baseline. Carpenter with the slide. He is out. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Harrison Bader, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1 home. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. So now to the plate, Carlos Martinez got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down. Make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. Shows bunt here, but this one misses. Ball three. And he'll indeed square on three and one as he gets this one down. Only play for Bumgarner is to first, and the sacrifice is successful. Stepping in and ready for another now shot, back. Colton Wong. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta is under it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Stepping up to the plate, Tommy Edmond reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. The 1-1. One, one. And this one's up around the eyes, 2-1. and one. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. Soft liner towards short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Digging in, Nick Ahmed. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A ball and two strikes now. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Ready for another chance? Cattell Marte. He was cut down at second attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Yeah, fellas. Not sure if he got the go-ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did. But it looked like he was running in mud right there. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. At the plate now, David Peralta. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Fouled away. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Ground ball right side. Taken in by Goldschmidt. In time to first, and there are two away. Digging in the switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. One for one after a single this first time up. The one-two. Misses, ball two. Two out, nobody on. 
three balls and two strikes to Eduardo Escobar. Now a fastball swung on and missed and that is out number three. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 one, one home. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Now batting, third base play. Matt Hatt. Perfect curve. Into the box, Matt Carpenter. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Big swing by Carpenter, and this is out to deep right. Marte going back. Still going back. And they take the lead. It's gone. At the plate, Yadier Molina. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Now in the box, Tyler O'Neill comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here. Sent on the ground out to second. To second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Now batting, Lane Thomas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, North of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. At the plate, right Harrison field. Bader, a base hit in his first trip. Two runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Good spot for him. And now they've got him picked off. And they swipe the tag on him and the inning is over. Stepping in, Christian Walker. He flew out in his last at bat. 3 2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Thomas has it for route number one. At the plate, Stephen Vogt. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Up next for the Diamondbacks, the second baseman, Il Demaro. In now, Il Demaro Vargas. My fastball is in there. Hits are now even at four apiece. Weak rounder back to the mound. He's going to try it. One there. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Harrison Bader, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. 
Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And another foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Bader is retired, and there's one away. So here now is the pitcher, Carlos Martinez. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Well, that pitch was like a backdoor cutter, if you will. It starts well off the plate and almost cuts back to the corner. That's a tough pitch to hit if you can throw it for a strike. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Carlos Martinez becomes out number two this inning. Now here's the ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Marte going back to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Madison Bumgarner. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Here's the pitch on two and two. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. And he goes down and gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it too as he crashes headlong into the wall. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Popped him up. Molina is under it. And that's the third out. Ready once again, Tommy Edmond. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the 2 1 pitch. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. He's there and records the first out. So striding forward now, Paul Goldschmidt. He's one for two in the ball game. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. The third baseman, so two three. gone now in the St. Louis half Matt. of the sixth. And that brings up Matt Carpenter. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot. But listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B. But listen, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. John Brebbia is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 50. Leading off the inning, Patel Marte, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 
And it's two balls and two strikes now. This pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Hold high in the air out to right field. Bader is there and he'll bring this one in. Now, now it'll be the four hole hitter David Peralta. He was a ground down Peralta. victim last time up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. To two balls and two strikes now. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw in time at first for route number two. So here's Eduardo Escobar. He went down on strikes last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. And it's fouled away. Drilled to first. Fielded by Goldschmidt. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready for another shot now. Yadier Molina. It was a walk in his last trip. Hit weakly back to the mound. Reined in. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Tyler O'Neill. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Runner goes for a second. Swing and a liner, but foul. A swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Walker is under it. Two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. The one two. Little chopper back to the mound. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Mike Lee trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Jairo Munoz will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 34, Jairo. Two down runners at first and second. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Swing and a liner. Foul. Man, the Redbirds, they've been struggling all game long. They've yet to been able to get that big hit. This is the time for the big hit for the Redbirds. This is in the air out to straightaway center. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Your attention, please. New pitcher now, to tell you about, and it's a guy drafted number six number overall out of North Carolina in 2006, Andrew. the six foot six Miller. inch lefty Andrew Miller. Standing in, Christian Walker. No hits to this point. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Into the corner and slicing foul.
The 2-2. Two -two. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Vogt, one for two on his line so far in the game. The 2 1 pitch. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Fouled off. Another one sent foul. Set. Here's the 2 2. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. So striding in, Demaro Vargas. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Fly ball to straightaway left. O'Neill waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Colton Wong. He'll start out the proceedings against Mike Leak as we get the inning underway. Mm, can't do much with that one, and it's one and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip it. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he is in the third base here with a leadoff triple. Now that is the football. Tommy Edmund. Into the box now, Tommy Edmund. And this is popped up near second base. Ahmed is under it as he puts it away for round number one. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Two and two. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. And a big RBI there as the run scores to make this a two run game now. Standing in now, Matt Carpenter. And he fouls this one off. ground to short could this be two one there on to first and he really paid the price at second base but it's a double play and the inning is over Giovanni Gallegos comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth Domingo Leyva is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench ready to lead it off in the ninth Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the payoff pitch home. Back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man support now to open the ninth. Now back. To Blake now. Starling Marte. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Striding in, Nick Ahmed. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Runner at first here, one man out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate.
The one two is taken for ball two. Don't quite know where that one missed but it's not for me to decide three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count you send the runner and if it's a bad pitch it's ball four in there the base hit. Tim LaCastro will be summoned now to be the pinch now, runner. The center fielder. Pickel Martin. Stepping in now, Cattell Marte. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another full count pitch home, and it's fouled away. Hit on the ground to third. Carpenter has it. Wong for one. On to first, and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Hey, there was no reason to panic. He gave up a hit, but he comes right back and gets a double play to end this thing. Great resiliency right there to secure the save and the victory for the team. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Redbirds took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Carlos Martinez earns win number four on the season. Madison Bumgarner pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Giovanni Gallegos earns the save out of the bullpen, his 19th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Three runs on seven hits. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Diamondbacks, one run on six hits. No errors. They left four men on base. The winning pitcher is Carlos Martinez. His record is now four and four. The loss goes to Madison Bumgarner. His record is now four and four. Time of the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Bush Stadium, a sellout, 45,529. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us. Please drive home safely.